And I, I remember going up to my wife and saying, honey, look, I've got some really bad news. And she said, what's oh. going on? I said, oh. honey, look, I've lost the, the house, the cars, the investments, the school fees, everything. And, um, oh, wow. You know, we're, 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 we're going to be in a terrible state. And she looked up at me and she smiled. Mm. And I thought, what's wrong with you? Did you not hear what I said? She said, honey, I know that something was wrong. You were behaving strangely. And mm. I thought it was something serious. And I said, look, this is serious. There's nothing more serious. She says, no, you don't get it. I mm. thought you had cancer. I thought you were dying. I don't care oh. about the money. All I want to be is with you. And the kids want to be yes. with you. Yes. Yes. I was shocked. And in that moment, I felt free. Hi there guys, this is Vinny Chopra back again at you. I hope you're liking the content and what we and my team and I are putting out there with the Syndication Made Easy show, which we do it every, an abundance mindset show, live show, which becomes a podcast also on Thursday morning, 9 a.m. Pacific with Walter Amarello, my co-host. And then I do a live show again on Friday, every week also, 9 a.m. Actually, that comes out, Vinny and Bo show we've been doing for three three and a half years i just signed up with a national actually it's a it's a syndicated television show which is going to be also broadcasting on wednesdays also at 8 oh no it's going to go 4 p.m eastern broadcasting but we'll be recording my co-host jim uh, grant and i will be uh, doing this show which is going to be on Wednesday morning so Wednesday Thursday Friday but that is for the youth we are going to move the needle for all the different things we want to teach the youth of USA and across the world which has been our passion so that's going to be on Wednesday but that's not about what I'm talking about we have a great guest love doctor Anil Gupta is here in the studio you know is well, in his studio in celebration florida and i'm here in california but i want to let you know how are you anilji how are you doing i'm doing great thank you Vinny, for uh, having uh, me on, on the show oh my gosh i want to share something about anilji anil gupta is living in about 22 plus years in celebration florida he's recognized worldwide as the love doctor as he helps families revive their relationships and singles in finding the right partner his proudest achievement is his 35 year marriage to Mina, Mina Ji, and raising two successful and happy children. I'm so glad, Anil Ji, we also are married 43 years, my wife and I this year, 43 years, and we have two children also, Neil and Monica. Uh, Neil went to Berkeley and Monica went to UCLA, very happy children. And Anil Ji created the perfect partner program to assist couples in overcoming the obstacles that are destroying their marriages and family life. So we're going to talk about all those things which are very, very important in anybody's life to have the right uh, relationships and to be able to really see how the business can grow and our personal growth comes when we take care of our family, our relationships. Anilji has been on the Fox News, on Harvard's uh, Harvard also, Sky TV, TEDx, and he has written an international bestseller called Immediate Happiness. I will dig into that, as well as founded the Happiness Store. And the biggest thing I find 
you know, he's got so many fans, raving fans all across the world. The blockages that prevent people from living fulfilled life in a matter of hours, he can really take, has the ability to, and I know, uh, I mean, Mike Tyson, he sent me the video of Mike Tyson and him and a lot of celebrities. So welcome to the show, Anilji. I just wanted to give you proper, proper uh, introduction because it's going to be a mind-boggling show. I know that. No, beautiful, and thank you for a beautiful introduction. I'm so excited to be here and uh, thank give you. uh, your viewers and listeners uh, great value. <clears throat> Please share with us, you know, how you got started and pick your, yourself in the humble beginnings from India, right? You're from India. My uh, viewer Africa. moved to Africa, in Africa. You were yeah. born there? You were yes, born there. Yes, yes. So take us back and bring us to the uh, present and then, you know, share with us your superpowers, what I call. Okay. You know. So uh, I was born in East Africa, Kenya. And mm -hmm. from there, we, we went to India. We didn't really like India for some reason. Yeah. And then we moved to London. We stayed in London for 35 years. I used to be a doctor of optometry there. Mm -hmm. And then I, we moved from there to a beautiful town called Celebration, which is a town built by Disney uh, near Orlando, yes. mm -hmm. uh, the happiest place on earth. So we, we moved here in 2002. Mm -hmm. And then I, in 2008, obviously, we had the Great Recession, Depression. And yeah. uh, unfortunately, I, I made some bad investments and I lost oh. everything. Oh. Yeah. And, and a uh, lot of people, a lot of people lost, you know, in that recession, 2008 and nine and so forth. I didn't know much about it at that time, but I started in the syndication business around that time. It is amazing because I kept on buying lots and lots of real estate, 2007, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then sold at high, high prices and so forth. You know, I just uh, feel good with the grace of God. But you're right, you know, a lot of people lost it. But tell us about the love doctor. How did you get to be termed that? And how did you take that plunge into that uh, particular So, thing? So what happened was I felt really bad and I, I wanted to commit suicide. I, oh, I, no. I, I, it was a terrible situation. And I, I remember going up to my wife and saying, honey, look, I've got some really bad news. And she said, what's oh. going on? I said, oh. honey, look, I've lost the, the house, the cars, the investments, the school fees, everything. And, um, oh, wow. You know, we, 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 we're going to be in a terrible state. And she looked up at me and she smiled. Mm. And I thought, what's wrong with you? Did you not hear what I said? She said, honey, I know that something was wrong. You were behaving strangely. And mm. I thought it was something serious. And I said, look, this is serious. There's nothing more serious. She says, no, you don't get it. I mm. thought you had cancer. I thought you were dying. I don't care about the money. All I want to be is with you, and the kids want to be with you. Yes. yes. I was shocked, and in that moment, I felt free. <laughs> I felt free. So she mm. said, what do you love to do? And I said, I'd like to help people. So why don't you do that? So I started helping people. I did an event, six people, 10, 20, 50, 100. Eventually, I spoke in front of 10,000 people. I mm. spoke on um, Fox News, Harvard, TEDx, Fox News, wrote a bestseller book developed the happiness score, the happiness test. And it was a, a magnificent experience. Richard Branson has been to one of my events. I coach mm. people like Mike Tyson, uh, spoke in big stages over 10,000 people. Uh, mm -hmm. The Dalai Lama invited me to meet him. Heads of state governments invited me. I spoke in 18 countries, eight languages, four continents. Wow. And wow. It, it, it's all about love. You know, when, when you have a partner, that loves you so much will accept you as you are. Mm -hmm. You don't need anything else. So it true. improved my health. It improved my wealth. It improved my 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 well beingness. And love is everything. The two most important things in life are health and relationships. So look after those two things. Mm -hmm. Wow. So true, so true. Like you said, health. Actually, I just turned 71 over a couple of weeks back, and I just feel so energetic and so passionate about the next 30 years. I'm just declaring, and my intentions are going out, that I want to live to 101. Let's <laughs> hope, you know, that I stays young and everything. I always have told my family that every birthday, you're one year younger, not older. 
They would never say that you're one year older. It's just a number. It's just a number. But if psychologically we could really train our mind to behave better and energetic and say, I'm getting younger, 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 younger. I tell our kids, Neil and Monica, you guys are maybe trying to use what the daddy say, or you grow old, I grow younger, we'll meet somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. I love that. Yeah, yeah. And you have such a great energy, really. Yeah, such Thank a great you. energy. It's so contagious. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, but you know, let's just talk about so what does it take? Let's just help people listening to us, watching us, if they're going through some problems, some troubles, and you know, relationship wise, how can they really hit it head on? And what some points you could share with them? So that it can put them at ease and face the situation and get out of it and get into happiness. Okay. So um, in a relationship, there's a man and a woman normally, and the man wants to feel respected and the woman normally wants to feel loved. Mm -hmm. So if you make your partner, the male partner feel respected, mm -hmm. he will do anything for you. And if you make your female partner feel loved, they will do anything for you. So this is a great question. Ladies, if you ask this question to your man, what can I do to make you feel more respected or more respected? What mm -hmm. else can I do? What else can I do? What else can I do? Write it down and keep on doing those things. So men like to be applauded. Well done. Yes. Good job. I'm proud of you. You're great. Uh, thank you for keeping me safe. Uh, mm -hmm. Acknowledge him. Uh, respect him. Women want to be loved. So ask her, what can I do to make you feel more loved? What else can I do? What else can I do? What else can I do? Wow, wow. And if you do those things, she will feel loved. You know, women want to be, uh, uh, feel safe. They matter. They want to be heard. They want to be listened mm -hmm. to. They do not want to be fixed and they want you to be present, yes. not, not distracted. So if you do mm -hmm. those things, everything will change. Wow. This is amazing. This last couple of minutes, you have given golden nuggets, golden nuggets, you know. And I was just reminded of the book, uh, Robert, Gra is that right? Gra Graves, uh, he had written about women are from Mars, uh, uh, men are John from Gray. Mars. and we, John, huh? Gray. John Gray. John Gray. He lives yeah. in the Silicon, I mean, right here in uh, Mill Valley right uh -huh. near San Francisco North and my next door neighbor, actually, uh, she was, she's a good friend and she wanted us to meet together and so on, which will be exciting. But no, you're so right. It's so, so it just dawned on me when I read that book, you know, that so many different things can happen in relationship, but what you just capsulized everything uh, is so important, loved and respect loved and respected and if that is what is going to join us together and build our relationship to the nth degree you know to through thick and thin and everything uh that's that's power that's powerful please share some other things like how would if somebody is not doing that how can they do it how can they get in that frame of mind well, the thing is, it's communication. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. You know, if you say to your partner, you're not doing this, you're not doing this, you're not doing this, they're not going to feel loved and respected. Whereas mm -hmm. what you could say, honey, you know, um, there are times I don't feel loved. There are times I don't feel respected. Um, mm -hmm. And I would love if you would address something that's bothering me. And, mm -hmm. you know, and what is I say, so, yeah, you know, it's a small thing, but it's a big thing. So, honey, what is it? Well, you know, every time you go to the toilet, please put the, the seat down. And, yeah. you know, my wife, my wife would say that to me, but I, I would ignore it and I would leave the seat up. Then mm -hmm. Vinny, this is what she said to me one day. Mm -hmm. Honey, every time you leave the toilet seat up, I can't love you as much. Look at that. Yeah. You see, to her, it's yeah. a, a big thing. But to yeah. me, it's a little thing. You know, I, I had a coaching call yesterday. And mm -hmm. the gentleman uh, is a rock collector mm -hmm. and he had his rocks around the house. And he said to, to his uh, uh, girlfriend, please do not touch any of my stuff. So mm -hmm. he came home one day and she moved all his rocks. Mm -hmm. 
he was so upset. He felt mm-hmm. violated because he put them in a particular order and he was going to sort them out. But she thought they're only rocks. What does it matter? You see, mm-hmm. but it was important to him. Yeah. So when you know it's important to your partner, you should honor that. For sure. For sure. So, so well said. So well said. I mean, we need to be in the present. So what we are saying is many times we do selective hearings and we do, we think we are there, but we are not there. Yeah. That happens in, with everybody, with everybody. And to be in the present, to be in the moment, to be in, uh, you know, where we are needed and listening. Communication, you just hit the nail on the head. You yeah. know, communication. And it's, it's powerful communication. So, yeah. uh, say, say, for example, if, if the husband says, oh, don't touch my stuff, and the woman can say, honey, what I'm hearing is you do not like me to touch your stuff. Is that mm-hmm. right? And if he says, yes, please don't touch my stuff. It's very important to me. Mm-hmm. And the woman can say, can I ask you why it's so important to you? Well, right. honey, look, I, I put everything in a special order. I like to see exactly where I put it. If you move it, I'm going to forget. I'm going to get upset. Then I'm going to get overwhelmed. I'm going to get angry at you. I don't want to get angry at you. Mm-hmm. Wow, I didn't realize that was at stake. Yeah. Now she understands how big a thing it is. And he's sure. communicated, but most people don't communicate. That's the big thing. Wow. You just talked about three words. You know, Anilji, you just amazed me. Love, respect, communication. Wow. Just those three words are so profound, so profound. Because if we are communicating, if we know how other people can be respected, the men can be respected, like you said, and the women can be loved. This whole triangle, you know, is just coming to my mind. I mean, I can improve so many ways myself, even though we've been married 43 years, but I'm sure there are so many things that sometimes we don't communicate and, you know, and we are not able to. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. For sure. You know, if- uh, just a little, you know, acts of kindness, saying to your wife, I love you. Thank you for producing mm-hmm. two amazing kids. Thank you for mm-hmm. being with me. I feel honored. I feel blessed. Uh, mm-hmm. The day I married you was one of the happiest days of my life. That's yeah. a simple thing to say, but we forget to say it. And we we think we don't need to say it. You know, do you love mm-hmm. me? Of course I love you. No, don't say of course. Say, honey, yeah. I love you deeply. I would give up my yeah. life for you. You mean everything to me. Mm-hmm. Very profound, very profound. I mean, these things, guys, everybody listening and watching to us, please, please, please go back and, you know, just rewind it and look at it. All these words, all these things that Anilji is sharing, we could implement that. We can implement it and life will be much better. And when there is peace and harmony and love and relationship at home, I know for sure, and I know everybody, I'm a business leader, women and women and men, it just propagates. You know, we are much happier in the work environment. If everything is in harmony at home, outside, we are able to perform much better, much, much better. Yeah, it's all connected. It's all energetic. Your vibrational energy changes. And you you have a lot more energy. And if you have a lot more energy, you're healthy. If you're healthy, you get more done and you're more productive and you're more alive. And it's contagious. It's a beautiful thing. Just like your your energy is contagious, my friend. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. Dear friends, this is Vinny Chopra. I hope you really like all the episodes we are putting them out so that your business can grow. If you're an accredited investor, please go ahead and reach myself and my team. We have lots of good deals going 506C for accredited investors. And also if you want to learn what I've been doing in hospitality and also in assisted living, reach out to us also. You can learn, you can do what I'm doing even better than me. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. And I think my third book is coming out right now, which is Senior Living Investing Made Easy because I'm I'm a senior and I've been building uh, buildings, but I've wanted to educate on the what senior living can bring to other people and so on, which is a big 
need right here in USA. Of course, my apartment syndication made easy is my first book. I'll be bringing all three in signing and all, but it'll be such a pleasure to meet with you. You also have a book, by the way. I Let's talk about that. I want to. Uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's called Immediate Happiness, and it's a manual on human behavior. See, when we were born, we were never yes. given a manual. So this teaches you human behavior, how to handle upsets, communication, tone, understanding your children, understanding your partner, understanding yourself. So it's a manual on human behavior. I promise you, if you read this book, it will change your life. Oh, my gosh. Wow. We'll put the link in the episode, guys, and let's make sure we all order that because I'm going to definitely order it. You know, I I really believe that these books and podcasts and information, it's not what we hear. It's what we take out of those and then implement it in our life to make us more happy, more energetic, more energy and accomplish bigger goals in life because like i think built to last that book i read uh you know be hag that's bold hairy audacious goals be hags i remember listening or watching or you know reading about that and because we should never be sitting with smaller goals in life you know Everything is possible if we just put our mind to it. Energy, sending out the signals in the positivity world. I believe law of attraction, like we talk about and everything, manifestation, all those things are possible. If we just put a little bit effort into getting intentional what we really want in life. And that's the key. That's the real key. So I, I love that. I love that in the back. Love Dr. Anil right there. And then also you and I talked about the t-shirt with the big heart. Please tell us the story about that. I thought that was really... Yeah. So um, I have very bad dress sense. So every time I would leave the house, my wife would say, you can't go out like that. So then I'd have to go back. She would dress me, have to change me. And I thought, you know, uh, I was uh, 53, 54. And I thought, I'm almost a grown man. I should be able to decide what I wear. So I thought, you know what? I'll wear black. So I, th- I thought I'd wear a black shirt. And I thought, that's a bit boring. And I thought, what, what if I put a heart on my sleeve? I'm the love doctor. So I put a heart on my sleeve. And I thought, again, that's boring. So I, th- I said to my wife and kids, what, what if I w- wore a big red heart on my shirt here? And you know what they said? No, but- don't do it. And of course, I did it. I did, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But then I wore the shirt and it oh. felt so good. And I've worn the same shirt for the last eight and a half years. I've got more than one shirt, but yeah. every morning I know exactly what I'm wearing. Oh my it's, gosh. And when I travel, I can do a carry on instead of having a full suitcase of clothes. So I, true. I keep my life very simple. Oh, that's exciting. That's exciting. Here with us as you travel to so many countries, I'm sure. The principles that you teach are, I mean, they are used every humanity, right? I mean, give us some idea what part, what made some big difference in your interaction with some audiences as compared to other countries' audiences. That might be a good question. So um, the Germans are very dry. Oh. You know, so the... uh, uh, Americans are very uh, open. The uh, British are very open. But, you know, there's a universal formula for happiness, mm-hmm. which is available to everybody on the planet. And the formula is this. Happiness is equal to G times G times G. The mm. first G is you have to give. Yes. Your time, your energy, your love, your commitment, your joy, your gift, your money. Give it away and, mm-hmm. and not want it back. In the moment you give authentically, all the pain and suffering will disappear. So whenever you feel down, give, make a phone call, thank someone, perform an act of kindness. When you perform an act of kindness, four things happen. Mm -hmm. You feel good. The person receiving it feels good. The Mm -hmm. person observing it feels good. And when you share it, you feel good and it starts again. Mm -hmm. The second G is be grateful for what you have and don't focus on what you don't have. So, Vinny, look at your hands. Yes. When was the last time you thanked them? Oh, my gosh. 
probably every day. <laughs> no. Yeah. I know in the morning I do miracle morning where I give gratitude to everything in my life yes. and everything. But you're right. Eyes, face, everything, hands, feet, you know, everything we, we, we have to be careful. Yeah. Yeah, we have to be grateful for that. We take our eyes, our teeth, our skin for granted. And the third G is you have to grow emotionally, physically, spiritually, mentally, and financially. Excellent. And if you do those three Gs, your life will change. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to write a blog on it now. You gave Fantastic. me something really Absolutely. special. Oh, share share away. Yes, I will. I would love to. No, these are just so great ideas which can really change your life. And that's the key to that. That's the key. I hope everybody listening to us are getting great, great nuggets. Would you like to hear any other uh, nuggets with us? Uh, I'd love to, you know, go a little bit longer with you. Sure. Yeah. So uh, if you do this one thing, your life will change. Be so amazing that mm -hmm. you cannot be ignored. And if you are ignored, it doesn't matter because how you show up on this planet will be a magnificent soul. So be the most amazing father, be the most amazing son, be the most amazing brother, be the most employee, amazing employee, be the most uh, amazing employer, be mm -hmm. the most amazing driver, be the most uh, uh, amazing uh, trash collector mm -hmm. in the house, in, in, uh, at the work, whatever it is. Be For so sure. amazing, you cannot be ignored. And you, your life will change because how you show up will change. Your vibrational energy will change. And when your mm. vibrational energy changes, the law of attraction will bring greatness to you. For sure. For sure. For sure. No, this is amazing. Love it. <laughs> and, and today, I, I ask all of you to perform five acts of kindness. Beautiful. Beautiful. Be five acts. Someone. Thank mm -hmm. someone, call someone, acknowledge someone, give someone a gift. And mm -hmm. notice how you feel when you perform the acts of kindness. It's an amazing experience. The secret to living is giving. It's so true. So true. Wow. What a great episode. Love to have you back again, really. Anytime. Anytime. It's such a pleasure. Such a pleasure. My joy. And any, how can people reach you and how can they you know being you're around you and so on yeah so uh my website is meetanil.com okay and if they if they if, if you're struggling in a relationship you're struggling uh finding your perfect partner and you're struggling mm -hmm. with your kids you can book a call with me with chat with and uh, mm -hmm. you can book a session with me and i'd be happy to help you Oh, that's so kind. So wonderful. No, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today. And it's been such a pleasure. I know we'll be meeting again uh, over there in Florida. Definitely. And Fantastic. we'll see you next time. Everybody listening to us, we look forward to the next show. We'll see you soon.